figure out I'm going here. All right, and they're off. Right off the bat, uh, Shroud getting monkeyed a little bit there. But, um, yeah, both players, uh, you know, no difference in stream delay between those two. They uh, started instantly and uh, yes. perfectly in sync. So, uh, yeah, this will be a pretty uh, pretty even, uh, pretty good uh, representation of just how close they are, unlike some races we've had in the past. Um, both checking the blood shop there. Shrouded taking the gold cat while Zypher opts to skip it. But, um, Zypher taking the luminous torch while, um, Shrouded taking the bright torch and the gold cat. So, even just on the pretty much the first decision in the game already, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing a little bit of a difference here. Both taking a little bit of damage, though, so you gotta be careful. Glass Sphere in the, um, uh, in the spike trap room there, but, uh, no bombs, so can't do anything to get it. Now, is he gonna use the dragon to open? Very the nice uh, use of the gold kills with the uh, with the cat there on the shrouded side, uh, killing the minotaur quickly. Although that said, Zypher looks like he had to, uh, found a trap door in his one too, so he's still quite a bit ahead for the moment. Rip scaredy chest. Yeah, those can be um, those white chests can be really hard to um, catch with a pace dagger. You kind of need to cat. You can get it. You can get yeah, cat. You can cat. Them. You can catch them pretty easily, but um, with a dagger, you kind of need to use the map to your advantage. Uh, you know, like maybe even dig out a trap to get him stuck in a dead end. Yeah, he had a couple ways he could have done it, um, especially with the water over in the corner, but just opted to do it for largely. But yeah, and we saw how strong the blast helm can be last race, so. Um, missing out on that is definitely not something Zypher wants to be doing. And Shroud, what a lucker. And Shr uh, Shrouded getting his lucky charm. Um, Zypher already finishing his deep blues, though, getting a titanium broadsword from his uh, boss chest. Assuming uh, Shrouded flawlesses this fight, we'll see what he gets out of his chest. I imagine he probably doesn't want to stick on in one damage cat. Although he's been showing you that he's pretty comfortable getting those gold kills with this. So he might uh, decide to stick with it. Using the Blast Helm to finish up the fight quickly. And yeah, going for his purple, getting shield spell. Checking this glass shop, not really finding the weapons he wants. Uh, not even grabbing that glass shuffle, just the glass armor. I would definitely have taken the glass shuttle there, as well as the armor. Oh yeah, there's very little reason not to. I mean, um, you know, obviously glass weapon, it, it's, there's a lot of risk associated with it, because you get a Safer hit. for passing up the blood shovel. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, maybe a little concerned about uh, the current health. Yeah, that's but, possible, um, but I mean... Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of people tend to put... Uh, like newer players especially tend to put the risk associated with glass shovel on the same oh, level okay. as the risk associated with Look at Shroud oh how did getting dunked by the minotaur oh, but um yeah the glass shovel is not at all as risky as a glass weapon because if you get hit and break it you can live without without you know being able to dig for a few beats while you deal with enemies around you and get back to it Whereas uh, with a glass weapon, if you break it, um, sometimes you're not going to be able to get get that shard back. Um, and you're just going to be too, you know, too bogged down by enemies and having to run laps to try and get back to it. Um, exactly. But yeah, especially when you have base shovel, there's very little reason to pass on the glass shovel, in my opinion. I don't know if uh, if Shroud had his shield available, but I mean that could have been an option for taking the Minotaur. run a long way if I don't stop him. I'll just pop the shield and have him hit me. Yeah, Zypher uh, looking to kind of run away with this a bit. Uh, already on his 3-2 while uh, Shrouded's just finishing his 1-1 again. That said, uh, Zypher, not a suit, you know, a bit of a shaky build here. Just one heart, no armor, and uh, titanium brown lead boots. 
I mean, and that's only one bomb too. I mean, he's gotta. He's also gotta start thinking Necro Dancer. I mean, yeah. Necro, Necro Le uh, Dancer, lead boots probably not Necro the Dancer. kind of boots you want with a broadsword like that. Um, I think I've I found uh, Explorer boots are generally what you want in those situations for Zone Three, because that uh, you know, that broadsword reach can get you stuck on hot coals. But um, that said, he's done with his Zone Three, so not really a big deal anymore. Onto his coral rift, broadsword's gonna let him uh, take a faster approach here. Probably, uh, well, it looks like he's just gonna hang back though, swipe the tentacles down. He'll play it safe, which uh, you know is fair. He's got a pretty commanding lead right now. Um, but yeah, one bomb is a little bit of a concern. That low health is a bit of a concern because um, yeah, he already passed up the blood shovel, so that's not on the table. Uh, for dealing with his Necrodancer. He's gonna need either phasing or like a Blast Helm or something. Uh, but no, saying that again, um, Blast Helm was in that 1 3 white chest yeah, mimic that he passed up on. So he's pretty much depending on either phasing or, um, or just zone 4 being kind and giving him some bombs. I mean, that said, he definitely has the time to do the button puzzles if he needs to, but it's, time, but it's, it's um, it makes the fight a lot more dangerous, and, you know, with his current exactly. state, he doesn't want to be doing that. Nice job handling that ogre there on the diagonal. That broadsword is putting in a lot of work right now in that boss room. So on to 4-2, um, yeah, pretty much uh, more than two full zones uh, ahead as uh, Shrouded makes his way to his 2-1 uh, exit. Checking this Conjure, looking for, like he's heading for a ring. Ring of Peace, looks like he's happy with it. Now going back in, yeah, going for some armor. Yeah, at this point I think, you know, just feel free to spend like... A, a, a lot, if not all of your money on that conjure. I mean, yeah, no, it's, it's such a like huge lead. The only, way. the only important thing here is to not die. <laughs> Nightmare making an easy for him, trampling a, a trampling I'm, a bomber. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I am really enjoying the broadsword usage here. Ooh, ouch! Uh, charted breaking his glass armor as he exits a shriner. Yeah. That's something I have trouble with. Is you know, if you exit a secret shop and two zone no difference here, two three there. to four three. What's in the barrel? I think I think shrouded. You know, spending a lot of time uh, on side trips here. Uh, I think knows how big this lead is, and it's just uh, counting on uh, counting on Zypher taking a fall to have any chance in this. Looks like he's going to go around and look for some bombs oh, before he and gets Shrouded him. dies to a Black Wind Mage. Oh. So it's a, it's a full this game a uh, difference thing. here. Oh, yeah. It's 4-3 to 1-1. One, one. But I mean, you know, it's still... Well, that was that was a little scary there, uh, fighting that ghoul next to that uh, explosive gargoyle. His positioning would have been a little bit different. It would have been pretty easy for him to accidentally smack that uh, that exploding gargoyle while fighting the ghoul. But he's fine. Uh, going on to Deadbringer. And yeah, only two bombs. So, unless he pulls a uh, flawless on this boss and then a miracle chest. Uh, no. Oh, that is not how you do this fight. Yeah, you have a shield spell. This is a good oh, time to use it. Oh, the Windmage takes him down. We have a new game. Oh, you're... Oh. oh. And it's a full reset. Both players 1-1. One, one. Oh, man. So I hope you like the seed, because we're going to see a lot more of it. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Shrouded dying, I think, multiple times to trying to throw against that Blood Shopkeeper. I think maybe overvaluing that Blood Drum a little bit. Um, blood Drum's a useful utility, but worth multiple deaths over like this? Uh, I'm right. not so sure. 
And just like that, that Cypher is right back in the lead. Not nearly as commanding, but... And see, that's just, yeah, just unfortunate. Um, Zypher, you know, unable to find any food or much of anything to really uh, add on to his build. Because, I mean, he was definitely trying to shop, trying to flesh out his build when he saw that he had such a large lead, but just not really finding much. I mean, yeah, like, the main things he wanted at that point were, um, like, food and some extra bombs, and didn't find either of those. Again, ignoring the uh, Blast Helm in the chest. Yeah, I don't think he realizes what's in that. If, I think if you, I think if he knew that that was a blast helm, and considering how hard of a time he had gathering bombs that run, he would be um, taking the time to like set up a trap or something to take that. He blues his handle. Yeah, you can see the difference right there as Shroud goes for the uh, chest straight away to get that blast down. He remembers that was there. Oh, that's not what you want. Oh, yeah. Time of that ghost. And we'll see, I mean, is this going to put Trout on tilt here? Is yeah. he going to be able to get out of that... Uh, yeah, he's, like, ever since he took that death a while ago, um, he's been having a hard time making it out of zone one. Mm -hmm. And he keeps going for, he keeps going for this shopkeeper throw kill. That one, he wasn't even a de uh, necessarily a death. He could have uh, walked out through the uh, bright torch and kept going. But, um, yeah, just walking to the sidewall and getting killed. And plus, there's the chicken right there. I mean, he could just pick up the cat. I mean, not not this run, obviously, because he got uh, dunked twice. Yeah, I think uh, giving up on it, just taking the torch. I think you you need to get that and, that cat though. That cat was, has been putting so much work for you in the early game, in your attempts up to this point. I mean, like getting the blast helm is going to be a lot harder now without it. Zypher all the way in zone three. He just. Zoom yeah, Zypher 3, like, waste Zypher, right. Zypher in Zone 3 wasting no time, just pushing right, like, having the same build again, just pushing right back to where he was. I'm gonna take the luck here. I don't, I don't recall him taking luck last time. I think he let it go in Zone 3. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I think you're correct on that. So, um, but that said, he does have most of the build he had up to this point last time. So, um, yeah, maybe just hoping that this will grant him something a little more useful this time around, because uh, he had a hard time finding much uh, much stuff to help him out last time around. Oh, and there we go. Payoff. Right away. Phasing. He switches to the spear as well. That's, um, as long as, you know, he's comfortable with it, that's going to let him, uh, you know, get the fast Necrodancer, even with just that one bomb. Starting to double back for that drumstick, realizing he can't afford it. <laughs> it's not like he wouldn't have time to farm for it, though. I mean, it's not. That yeah, he's got a. You know, once again, he has a commanding lead. Get the chest. Yeah. What? Oh, look at that! Look what's in the chest with luck. Oh, he gets a glass shovel instead with the with that's luck. That's that's garbage comparatively. <laughs> I mean, I just said, you know, I just finished talking about how there's not much reason to not take Glass Shuffle over Base Shuffle, but I mean, st there's still a, the a lot of things better than a Glass Shuffle, and Blast Helm is most definitely one of them. Oh, and look at this. He's got the bomb spell for Zone 4. Oh, that is perfect. Bomb spell is pretty oh, much one of, like, two or three things awesome. you want to be seeing from your purple chest when you're on phasing. Oh, and there, a three bomb pickup. He missed that last time, and that's really gonna help him out. Oh, and there's a ring of mana in there too. That's that's funny. Oh, is he gonna die here? No, he makes it out. But he got uh, hurt for a moment. It was pretty scary. Yeah, it was a little, little odd decision on his part. 
That's typically not how you want to bust into a boss room with phasing. But, um, yeah, it kind of works out for him in the end, but, um, I've taken a little bit of damage for it. Unfortunately, he did find three bombs, and... Yeah, and so that's that that's thing. three extra bombs and a bomb spell for him that he, uh, you can just burn through to get safe entry into these. Yeah, just bomb that. It's gonna hit that bomber and help damage that golem. And yeah, now you can just poke the harpies down. I think he, he could bomb this shrine for uh for yeah. glass armor as well. I think that would be a I think that'd be a really good idea, honestly. But with this being four three, I mean, how many bombs are you going to use on four three? Yeah, most generally like two. Um, I mean, if you had blast helmet be another story, you might like just want to mash it a little bit to just clear out the exit room quickly. But without blast helm, you're only going to be popping a couple. Oh, and now he's got fireball. So he doesn't even need Oh, the, yeah, Fireball. Fireball makes, uh... Props for the armor boots. Uh, yeah, I think at this point, what um, assuming that he's going to be doing all of his kills from inside the wall... That, that bomb was a little unnecessary. You had that empty, uh, safe room just to immediately to your right. But, um, yeah, between the Fireball and the bomb cell, um, and the two bombs, I'm sure he's just planning on doing everything. All his combat from inside walls and goo boots at that point are unnecessary. He didn't do that, he just ran around and was on Dead Ringer for a second time. So, yeah, there we go, on to Dead Ringer. And this time he's luring. But yeah, definitely, uh, I think what he should have done the first time around. Like, especially since, uh, yeah, it seemed like maybe he was not, uh, completely familiar with the strat he was, uh, attempting to do, because, uh, yeah, his execution on it was just a little bit off last time. Next challenge, remembering he has phasing. And he does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll, uh, <laughs> will be fine on that front. So yeah, with that, with that bomb placement, you're not gonna have to worry about spawns at all, provided the Necronancer doesn't bomb the stage out, and this should be, uh, in theory, this will be a pretty quick cleanup for him. Getting some lures oh, in. The lures are so good. That that one for the fifth hit was just. And there really we go. Nice. That's that's gonna be it. GG's. Game one goes to Zypher. Yeah, fantastic on the lures and everything. Yeah, a little a little bit unfortunate with that dead ringer death on the first time around, but a nice recovery and run back. Yeah, definitely handled that second game pretty good. Shroud did make it into oh, his own. Oh, right, yeah. Game. Before he, uh, I guess since you're back, I should add you into the commentary line. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, the Shroud did end up making it in his own three on his last run, so hopefully, hopefully he's got that uh, tilt out of the system and we'll be able to come through. That was just the first race, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was race one. Yeah, thanks, so, Paul, for reminding me. Um, like I was gonna add it, and then he went away, and I didn't know if he was gonna come back. And yeah, but yeah. Joining me, uh, in case I, you know, just to properly introduce him, joining me is Rockley on commentary. He's been uh, doing a fair amount of the casting as well. Uh, another one coming up uh, a little later today, too. Things like, uh, and we're off with race number two. And I heard that emphatic timer start there. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you... I mean, you... Anyone who watches my stream knows how clacky my keyboard is. I love the clacky. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so okay, pretty sta uh, pretty uh, pretty run of the mill one one. Just a straight run of the exit, kill a dire bat one two. Uh, you know, these racers are pretty much identical. Oh, except shrouded here finding uh -oh. a shrine of blood and a trap door. That's gonna be a ring of region and uh, a skip to one two. Although that said, uh. The exit room's right there, so uh, not really much time gain compared to Cypher, but that Ring of Regen yeah, can have, really uh, pay off. Ooh, the Blast Helm in the shop. Earthquake Scroll as well. There's your Dead Ringer fight. Well, yeah, but only if you can afford the Blast Helm, which uh, it's yeah. a bit of a high price tag for this early in the game. Hello, monkey. Ooh, that Shriner is nice. Trying to darkness, trying to space. 
I think, yeah, Zypher looking to farm up for your darkness. Definitely, uh, wanting to buy that. I think, uh, yeah, Shrouded but, passes it. Yeah, oh, Shrouded looking that. to pass off on it. Understandable. He does have the ring of regen. That would be... Oh, no. Zypher skipping out. Zypher not going back for darkness. I saw him going for extra kills and assumed he was looking to farm, but nope. Skipping right on, right out on it. So, oh, on to Death Metal 1. Oh yeah, getting a little out of control for Zypher. Losing the Flawless, getting hit by that yellow skeleton. Oh, he's... Oh no! Oh, oh you don't want to do that! This is Flawless on a bad throw. Oh... He, he, I think he had the flawless until he accidentally clanked the sh um, his he shovel against the wall there. The wall. Yeah, that's when so he no flawless for ne for either player. Um, base dagger hype. Yeah, and we're into zone two with the base dagger for both players, but shrouded with that ring of regen. Um, definitely a strong advantage here, but Zypher with the much better map read going straight to his exit while shrouded goes all the way around through all the rooms. It's yeah, it's definitely not an ideal food it, shop, man. but he um he was definitely looking for some health after getting banged up by uh, dead Ring, or death metal. Anything will help him for sure. Yeah, Shouted finally making Shrouded. his way around to the um to the two two or the two one exit. Now Zypher got hit by something. He's back down to a heart now. I didn't catch it. I think it was an armadillo, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the. Just seeing how bad it is to miss that flawless, like those dark golems take so long to kill on one damage. And it's not just seven beats either, because you have to compensate for. A... Yeah, you have to move away from it every three beat. Like you, um, you have to move away from a dark golem at least once to kill it on one damage. Dagger. Uh, very frequently, you're gonna have to move twice. Yeah, okay, and um, yeah, Zypher's got the bombs for this, so it should be a pretty easy flawless. And uh, finally gonna be able to get off that base, base dagger. No! Uh, I was I was about to say, hopefully it isn't something like a blood whip. And it's a blood whip! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw that. I'm, I'm I so sorry for even... Thinking those thoughts, I have cursed you forever, Zypher. <laughs> oh, the Minotaur! Well, check out Shroud here. Oh! Yeah, that was just a, I'm not... <sighs> I'm mean, yeah, not quite sure. Um, I think he was just panicking a little bit from having to deal with both the Golem and the uh, Minotaur at the same time. Mm -hmm. So now, if I'm Zypher... I'm playing very carefully, but I'm holding on to the whip, and I'm farming as much as I can. Like yeah, definitely. Again, we're seeing a decisive advantage here. Um, yeah, not a very good build, but with your opponent dying, you can use this blood whip for a while. Just take, uh, you know, take your battles very slowly, kill everything, Check farm the health back up. And, you know, eventually, you know, eventually you'll find a better weapon. Considering he's considering killing for that for that heavy plate, I would. I'm honestly not sure I would. You you are on blood whip. You don't want that. You want to get off blood maybe, whip. Maybe he's hoping for a flawless from the zone three boss, where he gets a blood flail or something. Or, or a squaring a suit. Like yeah, you you can't necessarily <laughs> depend on your boss on your boss chest. Okay, he's up to six hearts. Now. And yeah, especially. Oh, okay. When you have a huge lead on your opponent, um, and you're just looking to, you know, slow play and build and farm up a build, and I'm not sure I agree with the decision to kill a, kill the shopkeeper. Maybe. But you know, that said, <laughs> the protection charm as well. So, absolutely monstrous amounts of defense right here. Um, and health. It's... But yeah, having to deal with this swarm on a <laughs> base whip. And and handling it, uh, that is that was really. Good. Oh yeah, definitely, uh, definitely playing whip correctly. I mean, I've said it before. Whip is 
is pretty solid for like slow casual play. It's not what you want for speedrunning, but um, if you play it correctly, whip is one of the safest weapons in the game. You just oh. have to keep backing up. You know, play things very, very safely, uh, very slowly, carefully. And getting hit by a pawn, so no flawless. Gonna be running that flood whip for even longer. And at this point, it's just Probably on. The end of the game. It's on secret shops and those three chests that he has left in zone four to maybe get him off whip. Um, he at least has. I don't remember which one he got in three one, but he got either the. He at least uh, has the earthquake the scroll, so dead ringer isn't a factor. Dead ringer with a whip is really scary. Dead Ringer with an Earthquake Scroll does, doesn't matter what weapon you have. Yeah, exactly. I did notice he picked up the floaty boots. Normally, I wouldn't agree with that, but um, oh, in this situation with, with this with this lady yes on his opponent, um, definitely. Oh, and there's a potion over there too. That would just make this ridiculous. Okay, yeah, I'd bomb into that secret shop personally, or get the Ghoulam to dig it for me. Um, could be Transmog, which might. Get you, uh, help you get onto a less terrible weapon. The regen, I don't think, is really necessary at this point. You've got six full hearts, goo boots, um, and heavy plate, and a potion. Like, you don't need the blood whip anymore. You want damage. Damage is going to be safer than regen for you. Well, damage or, and said, more importantly, a non screwy attack range. Exactly. As long as he makes it out of zone four at this point, he's fine. He's got the bombs, he's got the scroll for Dead Ringer. This is just a very scary zone 4 right now. I wouldn't even say scary, it's just the the whip is terrible. I oh no <laughs> Oh so, uh, okay uh, <laughs> Well uh, that would have I think that would have been a good change up but um I would have I was just about to say I would take that over the over the whip. But yeah, I would I would take that out as well, but uh, he had not an option anymore. <laughs> Perhaps a protest <laughs> to Bose, I don't know. He's gonna take some damage here, but he's fine. Oh yeah, no, it, like damage is whatever. It's yeah, just face tank, a heart of damage there, whatever. You're regening from blood whip. Yeah, you'll he'll be back up to full like within twenty seconds. Yeah, he's like, yo, dragon, what's up? <laughs> yeah, just giving that dragon some hugs. You know, dragons need love, too. <laughs> that's, that's all. <laughs> like, I, I might even just, you know, take teleport monkeys intentionally at this point for funsies. Because <laughs> this, this build is pretty this darn safe. Ridiculously good. <laughs> in terms of tankiness. Damage, not so much, but... Yeah, there's literally the only thing that can hit him for more than half a heart is Deadringer. And that's going to hit him for a heart and a half. Like, it's it's still just going to kind of, you know, it'll sting a little bit like that. Then, like, maybe, you know, maybe he'll Wait. wince a little bit. <laughs> oh, Ryder, no! Oh, we got a, we got a Ryder mash? We got a Ryder mash. <laughs> But he gets dunked once, but he handles it. But it's like you said, Dead Ringer just scratches him, that's it. And he's got two and a half defense. It's just crazy. But yeah, on to, on to Necrodancer. Plenty of bombs available at his disposal. He can just sit there and tank the bombs if he wants. Now, of course, uh, the one thing he does have to worry about is that. Yeah, that's the only thing that's a concern here, but... um. Enough bombs to, you know, keep the spawns minimal. Um, yeah, just watch out for that Blood Nightmare and, you know, you're good. He's just oh, it. Dorian has no weapon! That's, that's actually that's, pretty good. That's, um, hmm. He's intentionally ignoring it to minimize the spawns even further. Yeah, it looks like he's taking care to make sure that Dorian doesn't take a hit from it. So that's fine. Oh, that was really bizarre. <laughs> yeah, the whip, the whip pushing, uh, pushing the Necrodancer towards Cadence there, and that's GG. Game two goes to Zypher. Yeah, once he, once he got that, the heavy plate and the potion, then that just got silly. 
And he does it with the blood whip, the blood of all things. <laughs> Gotta give him props for that, indeed. Yeah, it looks like Zypher really showing up here, taking the first two. Oh yeah, Zypher has um has been really strong from what I've seen. Um, like a bit of a surprise to me, in, in all honesty. Um, like I when uh, the dailies were still popular, I remember you know everyone putting up you know kind of a mediocre time for one or a lot of deaths, and he just shows up and drops like a like a five forty or something on it. <laughs> like um. Yeah, I think he's gonna be a uh, gonna has potential to be a pretty big uh, rising star in this uh, in this season. I mean, Zypher <laughs> Zypher isn't exactly a newbie either. Like he's uh, he's been around for a while. Neither of them checking for a potential. Okay, and we're off on to race three. Although I kind of have a sneaky feeling that that was a. Uh, Troll and not a potion. It's just, it's just in such an odd place. I didn't. I would bet more on that just being five. Oh, was there uh, was there like a potential potion in one one or something? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I didn't notice uh, it. It was it was up, which that's what makes me think it's not. Okay, potion. diverging routes here, um, resulting in Zypher finding his blood shot, but nothing too good in there. Taking a luminous torch from it. Base Zypher flail. Says no to the flail. Yeah, and I think that's the right call. Uh, I've always said there's very few base weapons I would consider taking, and those are pretty much limited to the rapier and the cat. Ooh, that's... Okay, yeah, it looks like he's trying to get a barrel set up with that uh, that bomb trap, but not going to be able to work it out. A little worried that he was gonna get the barrel stuck in a position that would make it hard for him to move on, but I mean, yeah, the bomb trap was there, so it's fine. All right, Man, both onto one He's, three. Uh, look at this, uh, Shroud lowering the dragon over the shop. Oh yeah, Shroud looking to steal from this shop. Uh, gotta be careful though. There's spike traps right below. He could accidentally kill his shopkeeper if he's uh, if he's not careful. And uh, unexpected shopkeeper kills are the worst. Nope, he took a trapdoor, he's fine. Okay, that's good. I actually had that happen to me for the first time. Of, I don't remember when it was, but uh, oh. I wasn't sure if I was going to see the shopkeeper or his ghost. Shrouded immediately dropping his flawless to a hit from Deep Blues. So, going to be running this Blood Rapier for a while. Although, you know, I imagine maybe uh, running Blood Rapier for a little while was the intent. Because uh, uh, that seemed like the only worthwhile old thing in that shop to, you know, take the time to rob it for. I mean, other than that, it was Hard Greaves, which are probably the weakest foot item. Um, and... I call it uh, Transmute Fodder. <laughs> and the Drumstick, which is a little safety, but, uh, you know, not something you're really... In a it's, super it's, it's, big it's hurry like, to get. Whoa, getting Trump's a little, little messed up with that bounce trouble. trap with that uh, wind mage. Today. Yeah, wind mage, but uh, Minotaurs, I think, have taken them out in both the first two races. Oh, maybe, meanwhile, Zypher God, grabbing an obsidian long. Oh, we can't kill him. We can go to four hearts. It can't kill him, but he can buy both items here, so... Now, that's certainly Not fine. He's thing. in a pretty uh, yeah. pretty healthy position. Got a little defense from those hard reeves. Uh, Blood Rapier is, you know, uh, not the best, but it's a respectable weapon. Um, Nightmare hit. Oh, that's not... Yeah, that there was a mushroom light there, buddy. City and longsword over here looks. Really oh yeah, yeah. Nice. Zypher just rushing through though. Already on core rift, um, core of two. And the ring of peace. 
Well, yeah, ramp is definitely going to be a much stronger option. Maybe I should refresh the streams really quick, because you're way ahead of me again. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny, I was yelling at Squega for being way ahead the other day, but... <laughs> like, get off Twitch's servers. I wonder if it has to do with uh, the person actually casting the stream. If they're just always going to be behind. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Oh, yeah, they are. Squig suit. I mean, it already has the chainmail, so it's not, uh, you know, a huge upgrade, but it is something. And it looks like we're a little more synced now. That's good. Let's see if it checks out the moves on the shop. And, uh, yeah, on two is 3-3. Three, three. It's a full zone ahead. With neither racer dying. That's, uh, oh, and we have heavy plates. He passes up. Doesn't yeah, I don't, I don't think, you know, again, you know, like I was just talking about in the last race, uh, when you have the lead, and you, you have the sit, you have the, um, time... Does my music keep cutting out? When, you, you know, when you have the time and, you, and the lead, um... You're typically going to want to avoid killing your shopkeeper so that you can continue to farm up items. Oh. Shroud in big trouble here. He, he had a potion, I think, and just had to use it. Uh, uh, he popped, yeah, he had a ham. Popped his ham, but uh, not in a good position um, to, like, he, he popped his ham in a position where uh, standing still for a beat means you're guaranteed to either take a hit from Coral Riff or, uh, or have to burn a beat and lose your flawless. He already had lost it by then. Oh, rip up city. Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> Zypher just so much hate on the obsidian gear. <laughs> These races. First the bow, now now the shovel. Now when the will shovel. the madness end? <laughs> All obsidian lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Uh, He's on the four two here. <laughs> yeah, four two, very strong build. Ring of Peace is always really, uh, really strong. Always. Oh, nice. Finding Conjurer, maybe gonna look for boots. There you go, Explorer's boots. Perfect. I'd also check the level. I don't think he's got the money for it now. Though. Check the the what? Uh, he does have 8 bombs, though, so he should be alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you could try and conjure Blood Shovel, but yeah, I don't think it's, um, he, he doesn't need, necessary. He doesn't need that kind of speed. I think, yeah, I think at this right point, there. he's fine with the bombs, and he just, you know, maybe he doesn't okay. even want to, you know, spend the health on digging, on Blood Digging, yeah. so, you know, why bother at this point? You've got a pretty, pretty huge lead. Freeze Charm gets popped. Lost, yeah, losing the Frost Charm. Can't really, yeah. Just waiting that, waiting for that uh, ghoul to thaw out. Doesn't want it to come back and bite him later. Not gonna be able to take that scroll with you if you want a quick dead ringer. He should just use it. Mhm. Mm Pretty easy uh, exit room here. Yeah. Able to just mash his way through it. On the dead ringer, really earthquake scroll is gonna make it pretty, uh, you know, pretty free. Potential sub eight here if he. It's, uh, yeah, just getting a little protection. glance at his chest to see if there's like maybe phasing or something in there. Or blast helm, blast helm. You know, doesn't need the bombs, but it would speed up the uh, process of digging into the stage a little bit. Uh, he's got like eight. He had like eight bombs coming into it. Man, yeah, on the final stage here. Halfway down. Way to sub eight, I don't think. Yeah, it's not gonna be a. I don't think it's gonna be quite will, sub eight. Will it? Will it? Seven, oh, those eight. those were pretty good uh, lures eight. at the end, though. It's a sub uh, yeah, eight. Yeah, I think it's a sub eight. <laughs> Barely. GG to Cipher. That is gonna that be it for this series. It's a three zero. Cipher shutting out. Shrouded.